guys, welcome to this video. It's a little bit different. I've been saying that a lot lately though, so maybe, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to be talking about the Trinity, which is a core concept in Christianity that is confusing for a lot of people, and I've had several people ask me about the Trinity in the last couple days, and so I've wanted a way to, uh, especially on social media, just be able to say, here is my explanation of it, rather than trying to type it out and explain it through texting. That is ridiculous and does not work. So that's what this video is for, is for those of you who have that question, and uh, I'll go ahead and get started. Oh, I guess I should tell you I'm in Italy right now. I'm on my balcony, not bal I don't know, balcony deck thing in the back of my room, and this is the looking area, it's really pretty, uh, it's been a lot of fun, we're working with refugees with my church, and it's been a great time to get to know people and hear some amazing, incredible stories, and so, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. We believe that God is one being and three persons, and I understand that that is, on the surface, a little bit confusing, but I'm gonna try to break it down for you guys. And it's it's not a contradiction because we it's one being and three persons. If we said that God was th one being and three beings, that would be a contradiction. But it's not. It's one being and three persons. And so what's the difference between a being and a person? A being is what you are, what the essence or what makes you what you are. A person is the who. It answers the question, whom are you? I'm a human being, right? You guys are all human beings but we're separate persons. I'm a Felicia person, you might be a John person, or an Adam person, or a Steve, or a, a Susie, or a Shaima person. You are a person, individual persons. We're all different people, but we're all different. We're all human beings, but we're all only one being and one person. And so we believe that God is one being in three persons. So he's a God being in three distinct forms, or three, three names, three persons. And so that's that's the simplest explanation to it. He's one one being in three persons. I understand that this isn't a super common idea. It's not something that's easy to understand because we don't see it in our natural world. We don't see animals or other people or anything that has more than one personhood in them. We only see people and things as one person and one being. And so in our own heads, it's easy to think there's only one way this can work. It can only be the way that humans are and the way that humans see it. But I personally believe, and I think that it's rational to believe, that if we believe in a God, which I do, we won't get into the whys in this video. If you want, I can make one, but uh, not in this video. But it's rational to believe that this God is maybe more complex than we are. And it's totally normal to think that God might be more complex than humans. So. So I do believe that God is one being and three persons. Uh, so I'll, I'll talk about a couple of points that Muslims oftentimes bring up. So I'll talk about a couple of points that Muslims bring up. And one of them is when, how can the three three persons not be equal if they're one God? How can they have different rankings if they're one? And, uh, and this comes down to, we are all humans, but we can have different rankings. And if you have a job and you're not the owner, or manager, you know this very well. You probably rank lower than the person who owns or manages your job. Um, if you work for yourself, that doesn't apply, but you can see very clearly how there's different rankings. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are different, different persons. They're different persons, so they have different qualities and different characteristics and different things that they do and function, so they're still all God, still all working together. Um, another thing that people bring up is that, well, this is this is a new concept. It was Trinity didn't even come up in the Bible. It was never in the Bible. It's a it's a concept that's been invented since then, and I, I don't have time to get into like all the other places. And I think there's a lot of study too that I still need to do to to understand it better. But in Genesis, in Genesis one, God created. God created. That's those two words. They use the word Elohim for God, which is a plural God. It, it means gods and created, the verb they use for created is a singular verb. So you've got Elohim, gods, created singularly. And in English we don't have verbs that are uh, number based, but in other languages they do. And so God created in the very first chapter, the very first book of the Bible, we have the idea of the Trinity. And, and some people would argue that there's the royal we, that didn't exist then. There's no reason to believe that it was actually referring to the royal we. We don't we don't see that in that historical time period. And so so it's not it's it's not the royal we. It is a very distinct uh triune triunity, I guess, 
Um, and another thing too, with Trinity not existing in the, the Bible, neither did the word excruciating. But excruciating was a word created to describe a death on a cross because ex cruce for cross, ex cruce, sorry, I kicked the table. Ex cruce for cross. Um, so that ex cruce for cross and that word was also created after the crucifixions happened or during the time of the crucifixions. So there's a good chance excru uh, excruciating was not in the Bible either. However, that does not mean that Jesus' death on the cross nor any other people that died on the cross did not experience an excruciating death. It's, it doesn't mean that the concept or idea didn't exist. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you understand the Trinity a little bit better, the idea of the Trinity. And, and it's not super complex. It, it feels that way because we're not used to it. We don't see it in any other thing besides God. So it's, a, it's complex in that way, but logically and, and rationally, it's, it's not too hard to grasp and understand the concept of the Trinity. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this, let me know and I will try to make them for you. Otherwise, I make art videos and travel videos and culture videos and you can see all those things on my channel. So be sure to stick around.